Okay, okay, we are back with some more Charlie XCX. Next up is 10 things Charlie can't live without, 10 essentials. We've seen, I don't think I've watched any interviews or anything uh, from Charlie XCX. And like I said, I don't really know too much about her. And I like seeing like artists and celebrities do side quests and just do these random things. You know, you get to, to know them a little bit better. So let's check it out, man. Shouts out British GQ. Original video in the description, man. Leave a like. Hopefully, they don't block this video. <laughs> Thank you, GQ, for sharing this with us. It is, in fact, true that I did want to work for GQ when I was younger. It was a toss up between Ikea. GQ or Ikea, if you're hired. I heard you can uh, work in Ikea on Roblox now. Is that true? What, is, that, is that actually true? You can get money and work at Ikea in Roblox? Toss up between gq or ikea if you're hiring i'm available <laughs> hey gq i'm charlie xcx and these imagine are essentials you go to buy a new table you see charlie xcx in uniform <laughs> wait oh, oh okay they are actually both fig scented i love these candles because i love candles you know, they just make a room smell really good which is cool especially here's dude this one i'm scared to use it all it's pretty much empty it's i mean there's still some champagne toast champagne toast champagne toast is so freaking good i love how it smells it's just like it's delicious i want to live in it and if i could eat it i would um yeah i love that because, smell you know they just make a room smell really good which is cool especially when you're on the like candles are or, like, underrated in, like, dressing rooms aren't like super glamorous like people maybe would think that they are but they're actually like often kind of smelly and gross and so really? These really fix that problem. When I am recording in the studio, I do like a kind of candle setting. Generally, if I'm in the studio, I'll do like a candelabra kind of dripping candles, you know, makes it feel like a little bit gothic. She's casting spells in the studio, man. Oh my God, okay. Prada boots. Prada boots. I got these from the Real Real, so we're recycling, which is the Real Real. Good. These boots are rave ready. Yes, you can also hide things in them, which is really fun. You can stomp around. You can cause a scene. I just really like these. Like I've never really been one for like a flat, like low heel boot until I got these boots. And now I'm converted. I just huh. think they're like a real nice staple that I, I mean, they're nice. will keep forever. Got them rehealed. Shout out to the cobbler. Ideal the for cobbler. <laughs> any occasion really, whether you're raving or going for a walk in the English countryside, which I never do. <laughs> Cartier, life which I never do. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. I saw the Lana Del Rey lighter, dude. I really wanted to get it. I don't know if it's still available. I don't think it, I think it was limited time. But you have to gas it up yourself. I don't I don't know how to do that. I think you need like a special thing. But the Lana Del Rey lighter, dude, that thing was sick. Cartier lighter. This is an item that is very dear to me. I travel with it all the time. That my two best friends actually Light got it. me for my 25th birthday present. It's a really nice token of love. That's I nice. Very chic and sleek and stylish. Currently, it's out of gas uh, because of. Is it a, a press? I'm going to refill it oh. right after this. A lot of use. Does Charlie smoke cigarettes? I don't think so, right? She's probably just smoking weed, right? I'm guessing. I don't know. This is my current favorite scent that I okay. always travel with wherever I go. I actually like a lot of different Byredo scents, but Byredo. right now we're rocking with Bibliotech, Library. Yeah, wait, wait, the scent is just library. So wait, do you smell like a library or like a sexy library? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, library. Smells great. People have said I tend to over spray on the scent. <laughs> That's their problem, not mine, because I think it smells great. The first scent I wore as a teen, <laughs> Glow by JLo, was like a big scent when I was younger. And then there was also that Lacoste scent that had the really iconic advert of the kind of like Bridget Bardot looking blonde girl, like 
running after a balloon in like a pink dress. I just remember the song was like- I read the subtitle and I thought it said lactose. Big scent when I was younger. And then there was also- The lactose scent. That's what I read it as. My brain read it as lactose. I was like, what does that smell like? I just remember the Cheese. song was like, let me show you the way. There's a place we can play or something like that. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay. And I like hated her because I just thought she was like so beautiful. I was like, I want to be her. I hate her. But I bought the <laughs> Yeah, so that was. Ah, oh, my Oh, those aren't AirPods. Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I did a really. Was it an ad? Lengthy brand partnership with Samsung. She did a brand partnership with Samsung. So this is low key, like a little bit of a nad, a little bit of a nad. And it sort of became this kind of like funny joke within my fan base where they really highly doubted that I ever actually use any Samsung products. <laughs> I had the phone, I had the Buds 2 Pro in both lilac and black, a multitude of other Samsung gadgets. But I'm here to say that I do use these. Like I <laughs> like, and also, I'm not working with them anymore, so this is not a plug. I do use these Buds 2 Pro. I don't even know if I'm saying the names right. Like, I'm so, like, whatever. I use these <laughs> Dude, it's totally an ad. The time. I've never had AirPods. <laughs> I'm they kidding. Fit in my ears, like these oh, days. really? Very, like, snug, perfect. This sounds fit. like an ad, so, guys. Yeah, to all those who doubted me, I really do stand by these. One thing they used to really like me to do when I was working with them is they would ask me to create content where I would show how I matched the the buds to my outfit. Um, I love that so color. So I'd just be either wearing like lilac or black, and I'd be like, "Oh, today it's a lilac day," and then you know I'd put them in and I'd show my outfit, which would be purple, and it would match these, and they loved it, and I love them. <laughs> and now Dude. I'm never gonna work with them again, or maybe they're gonna extend that contract. I'm here for you guys. This is that my felt like an ad, low key. ring box, and I carry it with me everywhere because I am yet to get my engagement ring resized. I Wait, is she engaged? In case I feel like it's gonna fall off, I put it in the box. Wait, she is engaged. I didn't know that. To who? And often when I like travel to a new city, I'm like, this is the city I'm gonna get the ring resized in. But then I leave the city, so it never really happens. Currently. It's, this is just coming with me everywhere, but one day I will get it resized. Can she get like a, an assistant to do that for her? Get rid of that. Oh, wow. This is... So it's not really essential then. Is that is that box really essential if it's just like, it's garbage? <laughs> if anything, the ring would be essential, but is that the ring on her hand? No, no, I think we'd see it. I don't know. Get rid of that. I mean, she's engaged though. This is my diary. Oh, it's my a diary. biggest fear ever is leaving this on a plane. Oh my God. It sends shivers down my spine. I have about five pages left. Wow, so it's full. I wrote, it was March 4th. Mm, see, that's not good. Gotta keep it up. I think this is uh, really useful just to kind of air out the thoughts that sometimes ruminate in my brain. I went through a phase where I would highlight bits that were really important to me. That only lasted for four pages, but these were, <laughs> you know, really like find the, the, the crucial point that you were kind of getting to. Used That's to smart. Diaries a lot when I was younger, like stacks and stacks of them. And they were always sort of about, about like, oh, like I kissed Chris McRae at the school disco or whatever. <laughs> Shout out Chris. Love you. Now it's, so <laughs> it's like pretty dark now, you know, like deep, Chris dark, got a shout out. Sad. Occasional, oh. like, light moment. There is a separate book for song lyrics. Now that I finished the record, I haven't really, like, taken that out for a while. I did, like, three kind of song lyric books for, for this record. And that was actually a new thing for Three me. song lyric I was books. I kind of notes app girl and then just, sort of, like, holding up my phone whilst I was recording. And then I went analog for this record, which is ironic. Oh. It's, it's not an analog record at all. <laughs> yeah, it's record not. It is a club record. I would say the album is quite- It totally is. Abrasive, very kind of in your face, very direct, both sonically and lyrically. I'm really kind of just like getting to the point. Some people might call it aggressive. I would call it 
monotonous. I think it's my best. Again, I think the aggressiveness of it, like she said, abrasive is a better word, but the aggressiveness, like that's not a bad thing when it comes to music, I feel like, you know what I mean? Some people might call it aggressive. I would call it honest. I think it's my best, but I know everyone says that about their records. They're about to put out, it would be too bad. <laughs> They're like, this one is my best. <laughs> Don't bother, but do bother. <laughs> uh, she has a point. This is my lip Lynn mask. Lynch lip mask Every what is that single content piece i've ever done where they're like what's in your bag what's an essential item what would you grab when you're running out of the house it's this they are yet to send me any free product but i'm still so trying. not an ad it's not even about the free product at this point, Lanesh, I just really like use this every day to the point where like, if I was going out um, and what I didn't have a pot of this, I would go home and get it and then go back out again. Like it's actually a sleeping mask, but I use it more just like a lip balm. When Wait, I was, what? Like, 25, 26, I um, developed <laughs> like insane, like sudden like adult acne and I had to go on Accutane, I think. And that just like really dries out your skin a lot. It was then that I kind of became very dependent on lip balm. And so wait, it's lip balm, but she said it's 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 a face mask. Then she's but how can something be a face mask but also lip balm? Wait, I want to see her use it. I don't know, I've, guys. I don't know what this is. And this was my favorite. Hey, Lanez, if you're watching, I could be your girl. They're never gonna book me. They're never gonna book me. They, they book might. Sydney Sweeney and that's it. It's fine. I'm not <laughs> Sydney <about> Sweeney. <laughs> These. Oh, there's gonna be a Sydney Sweeney disc coming up in her next song, man. It's fine. I'm not salty about it. <laughs> so These funny. These are my seeing glasses. I need them for driving. Does she wear contacts? And watching like TV or going to the movies. And, and they're an essential item for me because whenever I travel, I really like to go to the cinema. No offense to Retro Super Future, who I love. This is more like a functional thing than like a style hmm. thing, but we love them. Super stylish. So wait, wait. So wait, she doesn't wear contacts, but she needs glasses to... If you need glasses to drive or watch a movie because you can't see clearly, then you pretty much need glasses all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I've always found that confusing when people that need, that can't see only wear glasses sometimes and they don't have contacts. Like, I can't imagine just like living, I'm not taking my glasses off, it's weird. I look completely different, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I can't imagine like looking like that, like just all the time and only putting my glasses on for certain things. I don't know, it's just, I feel like that wouldn't help your eyesight either. thing than like a style thing, but we love them, super stylish. I don't look that good in glasses, to be honest. I've really tried to do like the skinny frames. I went through the phase where I got like- Guys, do you guys think she doesn't look good with glasses? I think she's tripping. I think she looks great. I think she looks fantastic with glasses. I've really tried to do like the skinny frames. I went through the phase where I got like big, like Gucci frames. Like <laughs> nothing works for me with glasses but they do allow me to see, which is the point. I could never do contacts. This is truly my like top. Oh, that's your fiance? Tip top essential item. Terry. Her hey, item. Terry. <laughs> so Terry is my Oh. Oh, okay. And friend. And also I would say like creative counterpart. Are you okay? <laughs> We're like is he back nervous? And forth and in the weeds on like everything to do with my new album, Brat. I mean, literally we talk about this record every second of every single day. We live and breathe it. It's kind of like we have no life outside of it at points, which is great. We love, we love. And so <laughs> we just kind of couldn't do it without him. W yeah, Terry. It's true. it's true. Terry shot the cover of Crash, actually just down the road from my house on a really, Oh, wow. Enthusiastic gentleman's car who, wasn't he so yeah. happy to be there? He didn't mind that I was kind of like in my bikini. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's why he was enthusiastic. I didn't know that. So that was just like some dude's car that had a, like a crack in the windshield. And they're like, yo, can we, can we use this to take photos? And he's probably more than happy. Maybe, you know, <laughs> he gave me this wife, which is cool. Oh. Hmm. Thank you guys so much for checking out. My that was fun. Situation. I enjoyed that. I'm Charlie XCX. 
have a lovely day well, there's another video right here with vogue vogue I, I think vogue like blocks videos vogue is i mean i don't know but she has a a banana she keeps a banana in her handbag is that what's inside her bag a, a banana uh it's actually wild that she brings her home essential twink everywhere <laughs> Comments wild, bro. What the fuck? Oh, we're talking about the Samsung partnership. Usually, celebrities go in here and flash their partnership with while Charlie XCX is asking for partnerships. Yeah, that's funny though. The way Charlie's been talking about that Laneige lip mask for years, they need to finally acknowledge her loyalty. Laneige. I like that. I like that word. I don't know what it means, but I like saying it. She's everywhere. She's so Julia. Is that her real name? No, right? Who's Julia? I don't know who Julia is. Um, inside joke, I'm guessing? The diary, being, the diary being one of the 10 things she can't live without, and yet the last time you used it is three months ago, is so relatable. <laughs> I'm crying at Terry getting the same edit as a lip mask. <laughs> we love you, Terry. True. Terry W. Uh, that's so cute that she acknowledged him. That's very nice. Charlie's probably the first guest to bring a living, breathing essential to GQ. <laughs> She's so clever in everything she does. True artist. The Samsung part. <laughs> Dude, that's, uh, that's my favorite current scent that I always travel with. The bottle filled to the top. She's probably got uh, multiple bottles. Charlie, when you mentioned that you got adult acne at 26, I literally almost fell out crying because I'm 26 and my adult acne is here and I should go on Accutane, but I refuse because of the side effects and the monthly blood work. But I, wait, you get, wait, I don't know what Accutane is. I mean, it's medicine for uh, acne, I'm assuming, but what is it? A type of retinoid. Oh, I, guys, I don't know these words. Oh, I'm not that smart. Let's be real. But I have tried other things. I hope it works. Damn. I know there's a there's solutions out there. I mean, I guess everyone's skin's different, but I've heard of that stuff before, and people do find solutions. You just gotta go through them all. Charlie using real real is so real. We love a recycling queen. Oh, is it a company? I don't get what real real is, but it's a recycling company. So excited for a brat. Oh, so this brat wasn't out yet. She's so cool. Shout out the cobbler. She's so real for that. I hate her. I want to be her. <laughs> it's iconic. Okay, that was fun. Awesome video again. GQ came in clutch with this video. Hopefully they 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 let this fly. Um, it was awesome. Charlie's awesome. She's really funny. Like I said, I've never seen like any behind the scenes or side quest from her, but I enjoyed that. She's really funny, and I enjoyed it a lot. So www.charlie.com. W.